welcome back. The long promised Quantum Radar film. So we've been hearing a lot about quantum stuff in the news, quantum computers, but just recently the Chinese and Russians have announced that they've built a quantum radar and that they have the ability to see clearly the F-35, the US Air Force and NATO new stealth fighter. What's going on? At Lockheed Martin, our mission is to keep you mission ready. And the F-35 Lightning II delivers. When advanced engineering matters most. When air superiority requires superior technology. When precision means you're ready for all possibilities. The F-35 is a step ahead. With unmatched stealth, advanced sensors, and seamless connectivity. The F-35 can go where no other fighter can go. In fact, all radars can see stealth aircraft. The stealth aircraft works by being a shape that reflects radar waves. It also has absorbent material on the skin, which is particularly tuned to the known wavelengths of a radar beam and possibly they use a plasma technology that will is even tunable to dissipate radar energy. So what exactly is quantum technology? At the beginning of the 20th century, physicists began to understand the nature of the atom. They discovered that all matter is made of charged particles. Surprisingly, they found that 99% or more of these charged particles that we call atoms are in fact empty space. They found a positively charged nucleus surrounded by bands of negatively charged electrons. Ernest Rutherford's famous saying is, finding a nucleus in an atom was as hard as hitting a fly in a cathedral. Before we fully understood the nature of atoms, they were often described like the solar system, with a planet being orbited by electron moons. But in fact, that idea breaks down when we look at things that are very small. To explain the physics of the very small, we needed a new theory. The brilliant Niels Bohr, Werner Heisenberg, and Paul Durant came up with quantum physics. To this day, quantum physics explains the nature of the very small very well. One of the weirdest observations in this tiny quantum world is that particles can become linked or entangled. Once joined together, they mirror each other's spin, even at great distances. A clever way to illustrate this strange behaviour is imagine a pair of gloves, one for your right hand and one for your left. If we split these pair of gloves up and mail one to Alaska, and one to Australia, whoever gets the left hand glove means that the other person automatically got the right. This quantum entanglement works for charged particles. If one is spinning clockwise, the other is spinning anti-clockwise. But here's the really weird part. 
if we entangle two particles and then separate them, the stay-at-home particle knows what the other particle is up to. This knowledge at a distance is called spooky entanglement. How exactly they talk to each other, we don't know. But we do know that even at great distances, these previously entangled particles will mirror each other's spin instantly. I can't answer how this works, and neither could Albert Einstein, who hated the theory. He just couldn't understand what method of communication these entangled particles could have over enormous distances either side of our galaxy. Because when one changes, the other one has to have changed. And that breaks the rules of nature because any communication would have to be faster than the speed of light. And the speed of light is a constant in our universe. But this strangeness is observable and repeatable. It really does work. So something is connecting the two particles. The question is, how can we use this quirk of nature? Well, brilliant military engineers imagined a radar system where they could split a beam of previously entangled particles. When one half of these entangled particles hit an object, it alters its spin and instantly the one that stays at home mirrors the new rotation. This new mirrored spin can be observed and measured. And even better, there are two other positive side effects of using the so-called quantum radar. Number one, they use extremely long wavelengths. That means that the stealth paint or coating on aircraft can't absorb them. Secondly, they use almost no power, making any reflected beam almost invisible, so making the radar stations disappear. This is very important. It is vital to know where your enemy radar stations are, and if they're quantum radar, you can't see them. So we know, because publicly, both the Chinese and the Russians have said, we can track the F-35. That means they have quantum radar. And here's a fantastic story. Maybe none of this is really very new. There's only been one stealth fighter ever shot down by a radar tracked missile. And this was an F-17 wobbling goblin in the Balkans war. A Russian radar managed to guide a surface to air missile that shot down a US NATO stealth fighter, the first time one had ever been shot down. The only explanation was the Russian radar used extremely long wavelengths that the stealth fighter couldn't reflect or absorb. Of course, NATO and the US Air Force probably do have their own quantum radar but they have a lot more to lose because they've invested a lot of money in designing stealth aircraft for surprise attacks. So this is as much as I know and as much has been published. There is more to know and I'm sure there's more to tell. Some of you out there will know lots more than me. Please send me unclassified details of what you do know either in the comments or find my personal email in the About Professor Simon banner. 
and share it with me and I'll share it with you because the truth is out there.